Hello people of the internet, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, happy Wednesday to you all. Let's get into some music, shall we? Um, this is from today, okay. I'm going to be catching up, if I missed anything over the past couple days, I'm going to be catching up on them throughout the week. Um, I was wondering if this was one. No, this dropped today. This is DKB. It's the first time I'm checking out DKB. This would be very exciting indeed, regardless of the song. Checking out a group for the first time is always an interesting time for me, as I get to learn about some new talent. So, they have dropped a new song called I Need Love, and I think we're going to go and check out the MV and the song today. So let's jump right on over into it. Yeah, I really don't think I know any DKB music. In fact, the only like piece of DKB music I'm even at all familiar with isn't a DKB song, it's a Brave Girls song. Because Ichan was like a feature rapper on Pool Party from the Chimaparam album. Good times, good times. Which also leads me to my next point. I did not know DKB were a Brave Entertainment company, uh, Brave Entertainment group until about an hour ago when I was getting set up for today. So you learn new things every day. So, which. I guess, in hindsight, that pool party feature makes a lot of sense, considering they were in the same company. Yeah? Sometimes we find out things very slowly. Allow me. Anyways, here we go. Loud. Brave Entertainment got a new logo. Okay, I'm liking what I'm hearing already. Lots of head voice. Big breakdown section. Vocal chopping as well. Oh, we're going full EDM. Okay, I'm down. of high vocals in the song, like a surprising amount of high vocals for a boy group song. So much head voice utilization. Nice rap first. I love the mix up of flows and cadences. Lots of quick ones, lots of slow ones, lots of drawn out syllables as well. This pre course is so interesting because it almost feels like there's. Yeah, the way like the reverb works in it, as well as the composition, it feels like there's less and less parts the further you go. And then we come bring it back all together in this chorus. Is that the same that like gas station car garage set? This one. Is that the same place that MCND shot their pop star like special book last week. Wait, it's over already? Oh, I was vibing with that. Oh, that went so quick. Did that song even have a bridge? Or was I just vibing to it so hard that I missed it? Oh. Oh, I like that. 
it's got a good energy to it. It's the song's got legs. Okay. I'm still kind of reeling at that uh, pre-chorus. It is such a strange pre-chorus to listen to in, from a like, music theory point of view. And it's not even music theory. It's almost like a production point of view because it feels so different to what it actually is. Let's talk about it. I can find that. I probably can find that. Yeah, the way it's been mixed where so it's you mainly have the percussion part and this synth beat in this pre-chorus and the way they've engineered the reverb effect on this is where the sound does fade away but it fades away not by like slowly you know making it quiet to the point where you can't hear it anymore but instead they muffle it and because of that muffled effect and with the way the the melody of the instrumental part's been written it utilizes the front half of the measure for every musical hit if you want to call it that and then by having the second half of the measure be allocated just for that reverbing like tapering effect and having it be muffled like that it feels like there's less and less pieces of the song the further you go into the pre-course and i think that's so interesting is in reality, I think if you wrote it out on paper, it wouldn't look too different from measure to measure. It just feels like there's less and less of it. Oh no. Oh. This is getting muffled, muffled. We got a little bit of a beat back again. And then really high vocals. Like, really high. And then, man, the vocals? Oh, main vocals got their, like, they really worked on this one. Like, this song is high. For guys, at least. Like, this is... It, it's lots of airy high head voices and, like, falsetto flips and things like that, which is perfectly high. But that doesn't take away from the fact that it is high. Like, there are some boy group songs that naturally have higher, like, vocal ranges. And there are some groups that naturally have high vocal ranges. But this... Even given a group that might have a high vocal range, like I don't know who DKB's main vocalists are and if they naturally have a high voice like this, but this is ridiculously high for a boy group song. And it's not just a one time thing, they do it every single chorus. That's kind of impressive. As someone who very much enjoys a vocal section, very much enjoyable. And final point where's this gas station shot? Oh, me this. I'm pretty sure this is the same gas station set from MCND's pop star video, right? It has to be. Right? Let me actually check. I have the recording of it. And... When did MCND drop their music? P1H, P1H, Superband, Alexa... Shoot, when was AB6? Uh, not AB6, when was MCND? You know what? We'll do it this way. Uh, videos. MCND's pop star. Skip forward. I know I could find it on the original song, but. Oh my god. Pair service. Oh come on, that has to be the same set, right? They just they just took away the signs. 
from there. Like, that has to be the same building. I see you. I see you. I always find it quite amusing when I find two MVs that share the same set. Like, last year, I absolutely love seeing Paradise Diner over and over, because, like, everyone and their mothers shot an MV or some form of promotion piece at Paradise Diner. Was there, was, you know, season's greetings, MVs, special clips. It was everywhere. I feel like we haven't had something like this where we've had a recurring set used across MVs. Like an actual set set. Like we had, we've had buildings being used as backdrops. I think we're similar recently, but this is very cool. DKB bringing the energy, and I like it. I like it a lot. It could very well be just an upbeat summary song as well, which is very appropriate considering it is, you know, mid-June, mid and it is very toasty outside. It is a nice balmy upper 20 degrees Celsius here in the UK, and it very much feels like summer. This song is perfect for this time of year. So, that is it from me today. Thank you all for watching along with me. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I did. One last request from me today, and let us work together as a community to bring a little bit of extra happiness back into the world, whether it be, you know, checking with your friends and family, holding the door open for somebody, even picking up a piece of trash off the street, just one small act of kindness that may brighten up someone else's day to day, and know that wherever you are in the world, should you ever be going through a tough time in your life for whatever reason it may be, even though I'm just some guy on the internet who waffles about music in his free time, know that I will always be a friend, an ally, and a shoulder to lean on whenever you need me. So take care of yourselves, take care of each other, spread the love, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.